Liberty's Voice, Levin TV. Welcome back, America. This is Levin TV. I'm Mark Levin. Where we are not fair and balanced, we are 100% pro-American and patriots here. Something is going on in this country that should cause you great concern. Now, many of you don't like big companies. To me, it shouldn't be whether a company is big or small that matters. It should be whether they follow the law. But in order for a company to follow the law, the law must be just. In other words, the politicization of the criminal procedure, the politicization of our civil procedures by the federal government, by the Department of Justice, is tyranny. That's the sort of thing they used to do in the Soviet Union and they do in fascist Russia right now. It's the sort of thing they do in communist China. A society has to have a stable and just law for its citizens and for its organizations. That's what a business is. A corporation is a business that is established under the laws of the land, federal and state laws, where people organize to produce things or to provide services. That's all it is. And people can invest in it. And we want these companies to be successful. I'm not talking about crony capitalists. I'm not talking about using government to subsidize themselves and to attack their competitors. Honest to goodness businesses. When politicians, politicize our laws. You should be very, very concerned about this because it not only applies to the other guy, it can apply to you as well. And that's what's happening right now. It's happening with so-called climate change, previously global warming, previously global cooling. What's happening is, starting with the Attorney General of New York, these so-called prosecutors who are elected, they're politicians, are now claiming that if ExxonMobil or these other major companies don't recognize climate change as a fact, don't indicate to their investors and the public that climate change has an impact on their financial status, if they don't represent that they are contributors to climate change, then they are said to have been misleading their investors and misleading the public in criminal and civil ways. Now, this is crazy. The Attorney General of New York has subpoenaed records from ExxonMobil going back a decade and a half. He wants their press releases. He wants their internal letters. He wants their internal discussions about global warming, global cooling, climate change, because he intends to make a case against them that they misled their investors and they misled the public. So we are institutionalizing, we are ingraining the leftist kook agenda within our constitutional system, within our statutory system. And if people don't buckle to this group think, to this crazy think, they're literally going to be punished and some of them may go to prison. Now this is, this is crystallized, this is underscored in a hearing that took place yesterday in the United States Senate with a senator from Rhode Island, a senator you've never heard of before. I think his name is White House. And the Attorney General of the United States. It's only a minute or so, but I really want you to listen to this because this will show you that to use our laws to criminalize politics, to use our laws to compel a belief system is as tyrannical as is possibly imaginable. Go ahead. Under President Clinton, the Department of Justice brought and won a civil RICO action against... Let's just stop right the there. Doesn't he look like one of those old Soviet apparatchiks right there? with his head down, his wave of white hair, looking through his spectacles over the top of them. Oh, and the Clinton administration, we brought charges against you-know-who. It's like, whoa, 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 where are we going with this? Go ahead. Tobacco industry for its fraud. Under President Obama, the Department of Justice has done nothing so far about the climate denial scheme. Stop. The climate denial scheme. So, that is a loaded phrase that has political, policy, and legal consequences. A scheme, in other words, people scheming to rip off investors, people scheming to keep facts from the public, people scheming to do something evil. That's what he's talking about. The abuse of language by the left, the attempt to turn people into, into criminals who haven't done anything wrong, that's what he's about. And notice he talked about the tobacco cases under Clinton. That was a whole new era of litigation 
that was considered really way out there. And so the tobacco companies, after a while, they decided to settle. And they coughed up tens of billions of dollars, which the states were going to use, I recall, to help offset health care costs related to tobacco. Where did all that money go? Nobody knows. We don't even talk about it anymore. But it's all gone. One of the greatest scams there ever was. They're trying to build on that. And this has nothing to do with any of that. This isn't a matter of knowing or not knowing whether tobacco is dangerous to your health and concealing it or not concealing it. We're talking about phony pretend science being pushed by the left to advance an anti-capitalist, <clears throat> anti-industrial revolution agenda. These are degrowthers. I write about it in Plunder and Deceit. This is an ideology. This is anti-capitalism. And here you have a United States senator from uh, Rhode Island. He's talking to the Attorney General of the United States, demanding that the climate denier schemes that are apparently being used by these companies be attacked, not just criminally, but civilly. Go. A request for action by the Department of Justice has been referred by you to the FBI. My question to you is, other than civil forfeitures and matters attendant to a criminal case, are there other circumstances in which a civil matter under the authority of the Department of Justice has been referred to the FBI? All right, let me stop. Let me tell you what he's up to. He's an old chief of staff to an attorney general of the United States. He's trying to pressure her to uh, bring more cases, send more cases to the FBI for investigation on this issue of climate change, global warming, global cooling. Do you know what it's like when a company gets a knock on the door from FBI agents wanting to go into their records, wanting to investigate what they've done based on something like climate change? The entire culture of the company is frozen. People are scared to death. People fear, I mean, when the FBI's coming, they're wondering, what did I do wrong? People start pointing at each other over what? They haven't committed any crimes. They haven't committed any civil offenses. This is a huge problem that's developing in this country right now. You and I didn't vote for this. You and I are barely even aware of this. This is going on under the radar. Go ahead. Senator, thank you for the, that raising that issue, and thank you for your work in this area. I know well, his commitment... work in what area? His work as a type of legislative mobster, where he's trying to force the criminalization of these issues, trying to take down companies unless they adhere to this leftist agenda? Thank you, Senator, for your work in this area. She's the chief law enforcement officer of the country, and she endorses what he's saying. Go ahead. It is deep. Um, this matter has been discussed. We have received information about it and have referred it to the FBI Stop. to consider. Notice they're kind of talking in ways that you and I, what matter has been referred about whom? Apparently some company is being targeted right now. I believe it's ExxonMobil. I don't know it, but that company is being targeted by the Attorney General of New York, and they see big money, and they hate capitalism, and they hate oil. I believe this company or some other company is being targeted. That's what they're talking about. Let me ask you a question. How does the United States Senator even know this? Why is the United States Senator a political hack from Rhode Island, a left-wing kook from Rhode Island? Why is he involved in any aspect of the criminal justice process? And yet, Yes, I believe it's been referred to the FBI. What's been referred to the FBI? That one of these companies didn't embrace the nonsense about climate change and didn't reflect it in its public records and its filing with the SEC and so forth? Ladies and gentlemen, this is what's going on. Soviet-style investigations and prosecutions under the left-wing banner. Go. Uh, whether or not it meets the criteria for what we could take action on. I'm not aware of a civil referral at this time. I will look into that and, and get back to you. I'm, but I'm not aware of a civil referral outside of the one that, that you just raised. Are there any civil cases with the United States? Stop right there. You notice this guy's head is planted on the desk, on the paper. He barely looks up. Do you want to know why? Because his staff wrote these questions for him. Because he's such a dummy. He can't even think for himself. It's even worse than that. His staff wrote these questions for him, I assure you, in consultation with people over the Department of Justice. We call this an inside-outside game. He's asking questions. He has talking points. She knows he's going to ask these questions. They're making sort of a public spectacle of this to let all these companies know 
even though this is going on behind the scenes, to let them all know, you don't buckle under. You don't accept so-called climate change. You don't follow the liberal agenda. You will be investigated. You will be prosecuted. You will be charged. You will lose your job. You'll lose your investors. The heavy iron fist of an out-of-control government. That's what this is. That's who that is.